have the square root of 70 times 71 times 72 times 73 plus 1. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to set 70 as x. So if I set 70 as x, then that means that 71, well, that would be x plus 1, right? x plus 1. And 72, this would be x plus 2. And 73 would be x plus 3. And we have the plus 1 at the end. So now, if I multiply x with x plus 3, and x plus 1 with x plus 2, I would get x squared plus 3x times x squared plus 3x plus 2. Plus 1. Now I'm going to let y equal x squared plus 3x. So if that's true, then wouldn't this be y plus 2? Because we already have our y here, x squared plus 3x, and we're simply adding 2. So we could plug in y in both of these, and this would be y times y plus 2. So now we know that this is equal to this, right? This is equal to x times x plus 1. times x plus 2 times x plus 3. We're going to ignore the 1 for now. We're going to ignore the plus 1 for now. So now, if we if we multiply the y times the y plus 2, we would get y squared plus 2y. And we do still have our plus 1. So this is actually equal to y plus 1 squared. And if we take the square root of this, this would simply just be y plus 1, because the square root and the power cancel out. But as we already know, y is equal to x squared plus 3x, right? So if we plug in x squared plus 3x for y, we get x squared plus 3x plus 1. And we already know that x is equal to 70. So if we plug in 70 into this, we would get 70 squared plus 3 times 70 plus 1. This 70 squared is 4,900 plus 3 times 70 is 210 
and we still have our plus one. And now this is equal to 5,111. So this is our answer. Thank you.